Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today's video is going to be a haul video. And this is some items that I ordered off of Beautylish. And if you have not ordered or looked at Beautylish, you're missing out. They have some wonderful brands. Um, they have some brands that, of course, you can get at Sephora and Nordstrom, places like that. But they also carry brands that um, you can't get there at other places like um, the Wayne Goss brushes. I think they're only sold at Beautylish. And one brand in particular that I'm going to be talking about is Makeup Artilia. And then I ordered also a product from Charlotte Tilbury. But basically, um, a couple weeks ago, Beautylish was doing their once a year event. Um, they call it their gift card event. You spend $100, you get a $20 gift card for every $100 that you spend, and it's unlimited. So I ordered, I wanted to order some more of the Makeup Artelier eyeshadows, and then some of the concealers, and then a liquid lipstick from that brand. And then I got my little um, gift cards with my um, order. Is that plugged in? Yes, okay. And they look like this here and I did get I did get three so yeah that tells you what I spent but anyway and what I like about this is the fact that these are good until December of next year till December of 2017 so I don't have to use them right away so I can save them which I probably won't because I'm thinking I might need some more um, Chicago brushes anyway so I have that. So the Charlotte Tilbury item that I ordered was um, just a little mini lipstick collection that I thought was just really, really cute, but I didn't realize that they were gonna be this little. I mean, oh my gosh, look how small those are. They are little, little, but anyway. So, and it's the um, the Matte Revolution lipsticks, which I always wanted to try that brand, or that, formula so it was a good little sampling to try so I can't complain about that but this is really cute I make a, a really really cute um, gift topper that you put on with the bow and the little um, name tag that would be really cute and then the last one was this color here so of course you know there was a red and there was a a neutral and then a berry so I'm set so give me a chance to kind of try out the formula and see what I think of that formula so and then the rest of the stuff that I got was from makeup Artilia. I think I'm saying that right makeup atelier Paris anyway it is a French brand it is made in France and this is what the little eyeshadow quads quince look like they come in um, five pans they are $35 each and they are a total of 12.5 grams so it equals out to be um, seven dollars a shadow which is about you know like Mac pricing or makeup geek pricing or um, Gosh, I don't know what other ones that you would compare them to, but the quality of these is, see, I see, I think Makeup Geek is here, then you have MAC, and then you have Makeup Artilia, like, way up there as far as the, um, the um, quality of them. Oh my gosh, and you don't hear anybody talking about this brand, and I think it's because, you know, they, the only place you can get them is off of their website or Beautylish. It's not something that you can go into like Ulta, Sephora, and Nordstrom, places like that and get. And I really don't think that here in the States that they have actually sent out like PR packages. So of course you're not going to have the, the you know big YouTubers talking about them because they didn't get, in, get them sent to them for free. And, um, and I'm telling you. If you, everybody's going all gung-ho over that Anastasia, Mario, whatever palette. I had that. 
and I sent it back. I purchased it from Sephora and I sent it back. I didn't think it was all that. I'm sorry. I sent it back so I could buy some more of these because I love these. I first heard um, Wayne Goss talking about them, um, about this brand, and then um, Trisha from A Glittery Life. She really is the one that kind of pushed me over the edge to purchase them the first time, um, which was this one here, which is um, T22, which is natural chestnut. And then I had <clears throat> T15 Honey Brown. Let's see, maybe you can see it better if I open it. Beautiful, beautiful. And then I had um, T01S Nude. It was the three that I originally have had, and I've had them for quite a while, probably about like three months or so. And then I've been, you know, wanting to buy and wanting to buy some more. And then Be Delish came out with their gift card event. So I thought, oh, heck yeah, I'm going to buy some. Plus, Beauty Delish, if you make a purchase over, I think it's over $100. Is it over $100 or is it over $200? Anyway, you can break your payments up into three payments. So they have like easy pay, so mm, even better. So I ordered um, this go around, and this is the one that I have on my eyes today. This one right here, Trisha talks about a lot. She talks about this one a lot. This is the T19 um, Wood Pink. Oh, okay. Now, first of all, I don't know about you guys, but pinks, Try not to get a glare. Pinks are very hard for me to wear because if they pull red, then they're gonna make my eyes really red and it's, it's not pretty. But this didn't do this. And I use this color right here as my blush. So that's what I'm wearing for blush. So they're very versatile. Um, they're waterproof and they're very pigmented. Super easy to blend. I mean, it was a, if you have trouble blending eyeshadows, these will be your friend. These are wonderful. They're long lasting. They're definitely a pro quality in my, my opinion, plus a lot of other people's opinions if you read the reviews on them. Um, they're buttery smooth and you just get a very good vivid payoff on the color range, but oh, so pretty. And I haven't been disappointed with any of them that I have purchased. But there's the swatches of what I have on my eyes and my cheeks. So they're very versatile that you can use some of them on your cheeks. I also have this one here. Look at that. Oh, so pretty. This one is uh, T18 Amazon. This green right here. Oh, it's so pretty. And then this one here. Oh, look at those for fall. They're like a gold, goldish yellow, and a um, olive green. So pretty. And they're so smooth. And I just don't understand, I don't understand why nobody else is talking about these. And then I have um, T26 Smoky, Smoky Brown. I have just about all of them. Okay, guys, I do. I, I don't know how many is left that I don't have. Oh, and T2, and this is called Burt, Burnt Umber. Not Burnt Amber, but Burt, Burnt Umber. Oh, so pretty. So pretty. And then the last one that I have is T5 Red Ochre. Now this one was called something else. Oh, I forgot what this one was called, but it wasn't called Red Ochre on the website. It was called, oh, I can't remember, but look for T05. Look how pretty that is. Mm. So, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, I didn't show this one either. Did I show this one? T25, 224, T24 Urban Gray. Look at that, whoa, so pretty, so pretty. I'm telling you, go onto the Beautylish website, order one, 
get it home, try it. Let's see, what one would I recommend for you to try first? This one, this one here. Try this one first. This is the T22 Natural Chestnut. Did I show that one? Natural Chestnut. Try this one first. This is all mattes. And if you have problems with mattes being chalky, dry, hard to blend, hard to work with, you will love this. You will love this. And plus, this is also, the way this is designed, you can um, depot these. You can re remove these and put them in a Z palette or whatever you want, which is what I'm going to do with mine. I'm going to put them in my um, Makeup Forever metal palette that I bought. I was going to put my Makeup Forever eyeshadows in it, but I'm going to put these in it instead. <sighs> love them. Love them. Love them, love them. I, I actually like this brand better than the Natasha Denona. I do have a Natasha Denona palette. I haven't shown it, but I do have one. And I like this, this brand of eyeshadows better than hers. And I know everybody's talking about her too. And nobody's talking about these, I understand. Guys, mm, got to get some. Okay, and then also from the brand, I did order a couple of concealers and uh, the concealers I'm, I'm not that excited about as I am the eyeshadows. I wish on the blushes, the only blushes kind of blushes I have are cream blushes and I'm not a cream blush person. So um, I'm not going to be able to have any blushes which is kind of <sighs> makes me sad because I'm the type of person that if I'm wearing uh, Natasha Denona on my eyes, I want Natasha Denona on my cheeks, I want Natasha Denona on my lips. I want as much of that same brand as I can on my face that I have. So, and the only palette out of all of these, the only palette that would even be able, remotely be able to use as blush colors would be this one, these colors right here. But anyway, so the little um, concealers I got, this one is FLWAO clear pink and I think I don't know why I was really really had high hopes for these because they're supposed to be moisturizing and I definitely need all the moisture I can get underneath my eyes but I think the, the issue with this is that it is just a very 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 thin consistency and I think maybe once I get used to that then I might like it better, but I'm just so used to using some of the thicker concealers that I'm having a little problem with it. But look how it's blended out and look how brightening that is. I mean, I like the fart, the fart. It's not a fart. <laughs> I like the fact that it smooths out and that it's really brightening. I'm just, I'm just gonna have to get used to that, the, the consistency of it, I think. And then this one right here is called Ivory and this one's on you would think that this one being ivory would be more on the pink side, but it's not. This one's more on the yellow. The yellow ivory. But anyway, those were the two colors that I got. And there's the, the ivory right there. And they weren't and they weren't bad on price. They're $18 each, which is not a bad price. The eyeshadow palettes are $35 each, which is not a bad price. And then I did a liquid lipstick, of course, and I did it in red, of course. And this one is called RW03 Rouge Frank. F R A F R A N C. What? Is that what the name of it is? I don't know, but anyway, it's the red. I haven't worn it yet. I just got my order in. A few days ago <clears throat> and I had some other liquid lipsticks that I was testing out so I did those first and I haven't really tried this one yet but there's that color there pretty I would have put it on but I didn't feel like it really matched my eyeshadow so I put this lipstick on that I have on right now which is um, going to be you're going to be seeing that in a Sephora haul this is from Huda Huda Beauty, Huda, Huda Booty. Anyway, oh, there's there's that color. So that was it for my Beautylish haul, and I, I hope 
I'm always afraid to get on here and really, you know, be very excited about a product and then you get it and then you hate it because then I'm going to feel bad. I'm going to feel guilty that you didn't like what I like, but I know everybody's different, but I'm telling you, I don't think you could go wrong and I'm pretty sure that if you didn't like them, you could always send them back to Beauty Lush. Anyway, but I think you're going to love them. I do. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will be talking to you in the next video. Bye!